better late than never, right? But I couldn't cancel this weekend because this weekend's new metal albums are special. And this week's number one might have the most metal origin story since mayhem. Welcome, metalheads. I'm the host of Heavy Metal Philosophy and writer for Metal Digest, John Barbus. Make sure you stick around to the end of the episode for this week's Album Art of the Week. Coming in at number five, Swords of Dis with Melancholia. This is blackened doom metal out of the UK. And I love the atmosphere and the vibe of this one. I really appreciate the ethereal female vocals with the haunting and evil sort of uh, not quite symphonic but definitely vibey stuff going on in the background with the slow menacing guitars and then there's also some occasional male growled vocals in there as well to give it that extra punch this one just made me feel things it's not the most headbangingest metal of the week but it's definitely got this haunting emotional power and that's why i liked it it's number five check it out coming in at number four master's call a journey for the damn black and death metal again out of the uk but unlike the previous one where i said it wouldn't be a lot of speedy headbanging this one's all about the speedy headbanging this is a very energetic one a very brutal one and super evil and i just love the juxtaposition of that really dreary and atmospheric one before and now this one's just gonna make you want to run through a wall check it out coming in at number three temple of scorn with funeral altar epiphanies this is death metal out of denmark and this one's pretty unique i like this one not only does it have various different tempos a lot of times death metal bands will either be full-on speed or they'll venture into death doom territory with, when they slow it down. This band does both. They go fast, they go slow, but they also have samples. And sometimes it's got this real rock and roll sort of feel to it. And that really made me turn my head and go, what? And I love that. I absolutely love that. I love the brutal vocals. I love the brutal riffs. I just love this band. Check it out. Coming in at number two, Xenon, the Shores of Destiny. Groove metal out of Croatia. This album absolutely rules. Any other week, it might even be number one. This week's number one is pretty special, but let's talk about Xenoph for now. So, when you hear the term groove metal, you probably think like Lamb of God, right? Well, there's definitely some of that in here if they listen to way more death metal. This singer is so brutal. Love that. Then you get that bounciness of groove metal. You get those great guitar parts with the cool runs that groove metal bands tend to do. And then they just bust it down on top of you. Crushingly heavy. I love that. Make sure you check out Xenon. And hey, before we do number one, the very special number one, I just got one thing I want to say to you. If you love metal the way that I love metal, then you're in the right place. You should join the heavy metal philosophy community because that's all we do here is break down the best new metal and all the philosophical underpinnings of the metal community. And if you like any of these bands, please hit the like button because it helps spread the message about said bands far and wide. Thank you so much. Now let's do number one. Coming in at number one, Lang with Rillo Out. Pretty sure I mispronounced that text is on the screen as always. And every band's Bandcamp link will be in the description so that they're easy to find. And this is a special album. It's atmospheric black metal out of Taiwan, but it doesn't sound like atmospheric black metal that you might have in your head when I say that genre out loud. I can hear a lot of metalcore in this and i mean early metalcore back when it meant what the name originally meant where it was hardcore kids playing metal music there's definitely a lot of hardcore influence in this but then you put in the atmospherics you put in the anguish of black metal and speaking of anguish let's talk about the origin story of this band 
This album is the lead singer's response, his coping mechanism, because he was carjacked, shot in the head, and died. And then he came back to life. The medical professionals were able to save his life. And in the aftermath, dealing with the PTSD, dealing with the existential crisis of once again existing after you felt your life slip out of your body, it's intense and the music is intense, it reflects the feelings of the singer-songwriter. And I just, it, the atmosphere is perfectly captured. I was blown away by this record. I actually got my hands on this one a little bit early, so my written review is already published in Metal Digest and I gave this one a rare nine out of 10. That's how good this one is. You definitely need to check this one out. And we're not done yet because we still got this week's album art of the week to talk about. Our Bunny Rabbits Metal. My favorite album art this week comes from Totem All. It's a greater good atmospheric doom metal out of Spain. And here we have two bunny rabbits going to war in an apocalyptic wasteland. I love the oil painting art style. I love the color scheme. I love the subject matter. If you know me, then you know one of my favorite follows on all of social media is the account Nature is Metal over on Instagram. I just There's so much to see out in nature. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's one of the things that the black metalers get right, the brutality and the beauty of nature, even down to the cute little bunnies, because when it comes down to it in the wild, they have to fight for their lives. Just, this album art spoke to me. It made me want to listen to this awesome music. That's the way you do it. Now, this episode broke down the best new albums of this particular week. But if you've already subscribed, you saw that the podcast broke down the five best thrash metal albums in all of 2023. If you want to check that out, just click right here. But most importantly, read philosophy, listen to metal. I 